I see it engaging more, uh, thankfully, through the um, institutionalization of the LPAA, the Lima Paris Action Agenda, uh, what is currently becoming the Global Climate Action Agenda. Uh, it provides an interesting platform for the private sector to be mobilized. Uh, in that context, the private sector has already been mobilizing. Uh, we've explored, we've uh, noticed, uh, all of us, a very important change, a paradigm shift in how the provide private sector has been contributing to the concrete, tangible solution to the climate change challenges all over the world. that predictability is very important for the, for the private sector. And in that context, uh, first of all, we have the Paris Agreement and the INDCs. We have about 100 and uh, more than 160 INDCs that were submitted, representing 189 parties to the Union of Triple C. And those INDCs provide a very interesting platform uh, to provide predictability and reassure the sector that there are uh, all kind of national actors are coherent in the way they approach the, pro the issue. On top of that, if we are am to use the Moroccan example, coherence in public policy is very key to uh, enabling uh, sustainable and uh, substantive uh, investment from the private sector. Uh, in particular, uh, for example, in the case of Morocco, in 2012, uh, we reduced, uh, we started phasing out uh, fossil fuel subsidies uh, because we want to have, be coherent with our effort to improve and enhance the capacities of our country in renewable energy. What I find very interesting and very creative about the Paris Agreement that provides us with a more global legal framework for climate change action is uh, the bottoms-up approach uh, that relies strongly on the willingness of all the parties and the drive of all the parties to um, address the issue of climate change at a national level that makes sense to their means and that makes sense to the priorities that they happen to have at the national level. So when I think at it, uh, on it from a legal perspective, I find that the main uh, challenge that we have to think on is really the, um, the domestic level. Uh, to, to provide more of a sense of ownership uh, of all those different parties to the UNFCCC about the INDCs that they committed to. Uh, because each INDC comes with uh, legal uh, implications as for how they should reframe their own landscape. There is the global landscape and solutions such as the one that is being uh, driven by this very forum in terms of having a global framework for a more individualized action is also a very key component to that. My, my hopes are a bit more than hopes, they're expectations. I think there's a very strong uh, drive and urge to make sure that concrete results are reached in Marrakesh. And in that context, we uh, have identified five areas where we feel that we can definitely reach some concrete outcomes. The first one would be the implementation of the Paris Agreement per se. Uh, there's a set of decisions that have to be taken, formal, and we have to make sure that the machine, uh, all the gears are turning the way they're supposed to and well greased. And thankfully, we still benefit from what we call the spirit of Paris, this constructive spirit that emerged among negotiators, ministers, and truly all the citizens of the world to make the Paris Agreement a success that it is. Well, first of all, I was, um, I mean, I was about to say I was very impressed by the caliber of the presentations I've seen, but. Uh, I was expecting them to be that good because I attended the event last year and it was just very, very inspiring. When it comes to more concrete things that have been uh, very interesting to see, gave me food for thought, has been really the realization that there is, at the same time that we are trying to move past the economic uh, value system to have metrics to drive investment, uh, we are still aware that when it comes to trying to showcase uh, and drive a paradigm shift, uh, in, in the investment behavior, it is important to not lose sight of them and uh, how we can really showcase that they can be concrete financial uh, positive and competitive uh, financial uh, returns from investing uh, in that field is uh, in lands sustainable landscapes is something that, uh, that I was uh, happy to see in the morning and I want to keep on learning more today in the afternoon as well.